Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Oli Singube is my name and I have another update regarding Zimbabwe's mainstream opposition party that is the Citizens Coalition for Change. Uh, you know that they have an ongoing uh, court case uh, between uh, the party and a man who claims that he is the interim secretary general of the mainstream opposition and he has been busy recalling members uh, of the party now you remember again that we posted a video just a few minutes ago stating that uh, just uh, uh, around an hour or so ago stating that uh, the party has taken to, um, to court they seek an interdict which will stop him using the name triple c on any platform and they also want to stop him from recalling members of the opposition party you will know that he has already done a lot of damage to the opposition party through recalling elected representatives of triple c in different levels uh, of uh constituencies including the uh, both houses of the national assembly and local government where they were elected as councillors but now what we are getting again is that just a few minutes ago chabang has made a court application to have members of triple c who sent their papers to the nomination court using the name triple c to be expunged from the ballot paper ahead of the by-elections that are going to be held on the 9th of december so this is what is happening chabang wants them you will remember that we reported that all those that had been recalled went back uh, to the nomination court using the name triple c and they say that they're not going to change because that is their party and chabang doesn't have any local stand to stop them using that party name and also yet no local stand to recall them from uh, parliament and council so now what has happened is that chabang now is seeking to have them expunged from the ballot paper which means that if uh, his application succeeds these members who were recalled will not be able to stand in the by elections for as long as they use the name triple c and you'll know that if they are stopped from using the name triple c it means that they won't be able to contest the 9 december by elections because it is too late the nomination court is already set so we hear lawyers that are representing chabang speak about this matter that the application is being filed. Uh, remember that these people were recalled by the triple C. They challenged their recall in the High Court. The High Court upheld their recall. As a result, we know for a fact, a legal fact, that they ceased to be members of the Parliament on account of their recall by the by the triple C. They then proceeded to file nomination papers under the triple C, the very same part which had recalled them. Our law knows no such absurdity. The part that recalled them did not sign their nomination papers. They were improperly therefore nominated and we will be seeking that they be expunged from the list of those that were validly nominated such that they will not be on the ballot paper. Uh, advocate, what, what, what is the implication uh, of this vis-a-vis -vis their participation in an election? My learned instructing attorney will attend to that. Thank you. Well, if uh, you have been expunged from uh, participating, therefore it means you, you won't be available. So in other words, we are going to see some constituencies just being declared because they will be having one candidate. Is that so? That it is. It is so. What will that do to democracy? <laughs> I don't understand what you mean by democracy when uh, a, a party that has uh, sent you there has uh, removed you there. I don't understand. Juxtapose it with the position. Okay, I'm saying that... Uh... An application to have uh, those members that were expelled by Triple C removed from the ballot has been filed. The net effect of it is that uh, if one has been expelled by the party in terms of Section 139 of the Constitution, there is no reason for that person to then attempt to hoodwink the system that has expelled him and go back. Uh, to Parliament or any other institution. So that application has been filed. The service is going to be done to those that uh, um, were expelled so that we hear their side of the story as 
in terms of the law. Is it an agent or it's a... Uh, it is an agent application. Okay. How many are all the 14? There are more. Because uh, we are talking about members uh, that were in Parliament, we are talking about uh, Senate and Council. So How do you think the Those are two different applications and the legal arguments are two different things. So that application can process. But how about you know, of where to proceed and file any candidate? Is the Carlos Report is the only candidate in the name? Is he also part of the person of the Lord's email also? Sorry? And you know who? Yes. And the triple say report the public info, and then the pack of you in other countries. And have you it's also been so just getting the I did I don't remember offhand the the respondents by their names. But what I can tell you is that uh, those that have been expelled by the uh, an application is been filed so that they don't use the same name in the file. So we can safely say it is possible to file in Great Bridge and uh, Mapuko. That's why I'm saying I don't remember offhand the names. Yes. Yes. Like well, own. that is the sad state of affairs if you are a triple C supporter, because what it means is that for now the party will not be able to field candidates in certain areas. You will remember that although Tabango did file uh, or did have candidates uh, that would fill in uh, some areas as contestants, he failed to submit names of candidates in areas like Mavuku, Tafara. There is also a rumor that the person that he had advanced to stand for Triple C in Baitbridge West has also pulled out and said that he wasn't afforded enough time to uh, to be consulted. Rather, he wasn't consulted to stand. Uh, he was only... Uh, he only saw his name appearing uh, as someone who had submitted papers to stand on behalf of Triple C. There are a number of other areas where uh, this latest uh, move by Chabong is going to give a free pass to Zanon PF. Already we've spoken about Mavuku, we've spoken about Baitbridge. There are several other areas where there were no candidates that were advanced on behalf of Triple C uh, Chabong faction, which means that right now. It's going to be a free pass for ZANU PF or any other party. But we know that in a two party system uh, in Zimbabwe, that is Zimbabwe right now, there can never be any other party which wins in those areas except ZANU PF. And this now means that ZANU PF has taken full advantage of the implosion within Triple C. That is, if the latest uh, court case by Chabang sells through we know that he has won a court case before and he has one uh, that is still uh, in court which is going to be ruled tomorrow uh, in a case where the party is seeking a court interdict that will stop chabang from using the party name anywhere in any platform but right now if this court case uh, or this uh, appeal by chabang or this at attempt by chabang to block members that he recalled does sail through if, 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 if he manages to stop them from using the name of the party it means that they will be expunged and triple c will not have representatives in certain areas where chabang didn't file any names of uh party representative this is what we have right now we'll continue to follow this case as well as several others regarding Zimbabwe's mainstream opposition party. But what I can say is that this is a set day for democracy. It is a set day for the opposition in Zimbabwe. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.